always wash my truck. But when I do, I make sure it's torrential downpouring outside for that added <laughs> rinse effect. You know, like when you're at like the automated car wash and you click double rinse? Yeah, I did that, but in real life. At least it's clean now. <laughs> and I know there's no soap on it. It's kind of hard to see the roof whenever I wash it. So like, you know, I got the bottom and God got the roof for me. So that's, that's good. Thanks, <laughs> appreciate it, buddy. Well, today we were supposed to be painting and installing some train horns, but um, I don't have a shop yet. So this, this is what we're working <laughs> with my driveway. Um, yeah, it's raining. So once the rain stops, then I'm going to install some train horns. Psst. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Pay attention. I got some crazy news. From now until August 21st, you have the chance to take home the keys to my LBZ Duramax Shorty. We call it Murder Max. It's a 2006 Chevy 2500 HD with an LBZ Duramax with a custom short bed conversion, beautifully color matched to front end. It's tuned, deleted, straight pipe, sounds amazing. It's got weld wheels and Nitto 420Vs, full leather interior. It's one hell of a truck and it could be yours. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description today to get entered. Super simple. And on August 21st, we'll be announcing the winner live on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the video. Is it dead? No way. I've only been sitting out here like all day with the rock lights on. Hmm. Huh. Well, grab the jump pack. Like grandpa, like grandson. And no, I don't mean our matching black six sevens. I mean our shitty bumpers. <laughs> Is that an archer of it? Oh, okay. It is dead. Dead, dead? Dead, like, and Frank, dead. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm running truck. Good job doing the bare minimum. probably heard those puny ass little train horns for this big ass truck whenever i bought this truck it came with train horns already on it these little dingy things from like 1873 they're supposed to be chrome they look like absolute garbage so we're taking those off and horn blasters actually sent me out a whole bunch of horns i think my grandpa here's horn blasters yeah, too same thing he has the exact same kit on his truck and it's obnoxious. It shakes the house whenever I honk the horns. The neighbors hate it. I love it. At the exact same kit as him. Comes with six huge train horns. Got all the lines, got all the fittings. A bunch of things to make the train horns go blah. All the train horns are gonna sit right where the spare tire normally would go. Obviously I have 53s, so I don't need a spare tire because I don't really, I don't think I can have a 53 in spare. So right now I have my air management system mounted right there so I'm gonna take that all out I'm gonna relocate it somewhere else GFP garage installing horn blasters train horns see what happens <laughs> This thing is disgusting. Like, it's almost like whoever owns this truck just like drives it through like 
I don't know, mud and gunk. And is that rust from water? It only has like this little 12 volt solenoid. And the line was about the same size as like a brake line on a bicycle. So not that much air flows through it. These are junk. Now we get to install all six of these horns, all the lines and everything, mount them onto the plate, put it underneath the truck. I already had the train horn, so obviously all the wiring and everything is all the same. I just I got to extend it a little further so it comes to right here. I cleaned out a spot. Now my air management system is hanging there. All these wires I'm going to tuck behind the hitch receiver. And then the plate will sit right here. I got to make everything look pretty. I need some more wire loop stuff. But when I'm done, this is all going to look clean as hell and factory. And we're going to have some loud ass train horns to scare the shit out of everybody with. Very excited. <laughs> so the kit comes with these push connect fittings. And these are really nice because literally how you install them is you go, you, you, you push. That, that's it. That was literally it. A toddler could install this kit. It's so nice. Got the horns all mounted on the plate. It looks sick as hell. Now we just got to put the plate up underneath the truck. Get everything wired up. Easier said than done, but we'll get it. The horn blasters sent me out a whole bunch of goodies for Megan. This kit is normally super duper easy to install. Like for a, like a normal truck that has a normal spare tire location and you don't have tanks and you don't have compressors already, it's way easier than what I had to do. So they built me this huge custom mounting plate with my logo and it says horn blasters on it. It's super sick. It's supposed to go exactly where the spare tire goes. Now, I didn't realize this until I started installing it. My compressors are mounted above where the train horns are mounted right now. Uh, they are already in the spot of where the spare tire is supposed to be. Obviously, we didn't realize that until after the plate was made. So I had to like tweak a couple things and make it fit. So now the horns sit below where my compressors are, which is kind of sick. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in this tiny space. You know, efficient. It's very efficient. Like, I have four compressors up there, a bracket, and then another bracket for the train horns. I like it. It turned out pretty sick. It was just a little bit of a headache to figure out. All the way up there, I got uh, the solenoid and I have my air management system now is mounted there. I got all six of the train horns sitting right here perfectly. I like the design. I like how it goes big in the middle and then smaller on the sides. Normally people do smallest to biggest. I don't really like how that looks. This looks way cleaner. Because I already have air ride, obviously I have tanks already. So I have 200 gallon air tanks. So that means that there's 200 gallons of air going through these horns when they're all the way filled up. They are loud. Like I've heard a lot of train horns in my day and these are one of the loudest that I've ever heard. Installing it was super simple, like a, an actual fetus 
could install this kit it is super simple a lot of people like these kits because they are so simple uh if you were to purchase it i'd say it would take you two hours to install it on your truck like it's very basic yeah really no complaints that's about it they're loud as hell they look sick i plan on frame offing this whole truck and changing all the colors so there was not really any point in getting it powder coated just to re-powder coat it again if that makes sense the only thing i would change is um get more horns i i need six is six is a lot but i i guarantee i'm gonna get bored soon so next is 12 or maybe 24. we're gonna need more horns i'm gonna need a lot more brackets hit me up horn blasters i i will accept anything you want to send hit up horn blasters if you want train horns they're sick i'm a very honest person i would tell you if something was wrong and i am very pleased with these train horns so get them i got it all wired to a switch they are so loud that i don't want to use them all the time like if somebody's being an asshole or i want to like show off how loud the train horns are then that's okay but like normal horn things they are way too loud i still need a normal horn so i kept the normal horn in the normal horn location and then i got a switch that goes to that i did already accidentally hit it with my knee at like two in the morning so i'm sorry neighbors not really Thick. I'm, they're so loud. There's, I don't know if camera is gonna do it justice on how loud these are. They're obnoxious. All right, all the way over there. That's where the truck is. Go ahead. Oh my god. Yeah, that's 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 obnoxious. I feel bad for anybody that cuts me off. I'm gonna honk the horn and they're gonna freaking eat a guardrail. Jesus Christ. drying my truck off air drying it by driving down the highway and this dude's fucking wheels falling off this guy right here is hauling a huge trailer and his hub snapped and his, his wheels literally about to fall off you don't got that much further to go hopefully this wheel don't fall off I'm blocking traffic with the monster truck no bueno so i got his wheel all off he needs a hub uh caliper rotor pads um it destroyed the caliper so i'm gonna head to o'reilly's and pick up all of his stuff just trying to be a nice guy and uh help this dude out he's hauling horses he's all the way from kansas city and i would hate to be in this position so we're gonna save the day <laughs> got the new caliper rotor and hub on now he's ready to drive back to missouri hello that's a small one that's a big one. Holy cow. Hello. Oh, they're so pretty. He's pulling this whole trailer with the truck all the way back to Kansas City. Woo! She's rolling. Five hours later, but we got his whole everything changed. Hub, brake, rotor, everything was trashed. As you can see, all the metal 
But, um, yeah. If I was in that situation, I'd be very appreciative of somebody stopping and helping me. So, that's why I did it. I hate how nowadays it's, like, so rare for somebody to, like, stop and help somebody on the side of the road. You can sit on the side of the road with those, your flashers on and sit there all day and wait for somebody to help you and nobody will ever stop. But... I'm not one of those people. If I didn't come and help him, he would have been stuck. He, there was no way he was getting home. He tried to call AAA to begin with, and they didn't even know what a hub was. So thank God I was there. Right place, right time. Helped him out. And now he's on his jolly way back home. He's a really nice guy. Possibly might be going out there to check out his ranch next time I'm in Missouri. So I'm excited to see that. His family members were super happy. Uh, that I helped them, so it made my day. If there's a lesson to learn from this, just treat everybody like today's your last day on Earth. Because, I don't know, there's not enough good people in the world anymore.